Ontario, from the Northern Ontario Railway Museum and Heritage Centre in Cape Creole. And I'm going to talk about solitary bees. Now, she almost gave away my whole speech there, but I, <laughs> I want to thank you for that. Uh, now, uh, by the time I'm finished, you're going to be thoroughly mixed up because I've got two minutes to tell you about a species, 20 to 30,000 of them, and what they do. So I'm going to tell you what they don't do, first of all, okay? As you were just told, they don't, they're very docile, okay? Except when they're not. <laughs> so we'll tell you about that. But they nest in the crevice of a tree, except when they don't. <laughs> now you're going to love this, because this is really true. They don't produce honey. They don't protect the young. And they don't really want to fight with you. Now, they nest in the tree except when they don't, and they're solitary except when they aren't. And when they aren't, they're aggregating. That means there might be two or three or four or five females in one nest, but they are individual cells. They're different than the honeybees. Now, one more thing here. One solitary bee, the mason bee, does the work of 120 honeybees. Now we're going to, because of the grant we have, we're going to build homes for these solitary bees. In Cape Real, we have gardens downtown at the museum and the Peace Garden where we're, we're going to put homes there. And I've only got a short time here, so I can't go on and on. You'll have to come and see me. That way I can talk about number six and uh, tell you all about them. But we're going to put these up. You can put them right in your garden. They will not harm your children. The males may be aggressive, but they don't even have a stinger, so they can't do anything. And the female, before she'll sting you, well, she won't. That's the bottom line. <laughs> okay? So you'll be okay if you put one of these in your garden and you'll help the environment. Thank you. Thank you very much.